Surfing has to be one of the highlights of open canoeing, but unless you have a few basics down, it can be the most frustrating experience. So here are the secrets to making a front surf look so easy. The objective is to ride the shoulder out and get established on the wave. The trick is that the trough at the shoulder and the trough in the face of the wave are often not the same angle. Exit at 90 degrees to the trough, then when you get to the wave, you need to straighten your boat out so that you're then 90 degrees to the wave itself. But you're going to say, yeah, but the current pushes my bow off the wave and I get typewritered across it. In that case, create some drag either with the angle of your boat or your paddle so that when you get to the wave, you're further up on the pile. As your boat rides up onto the crest of the wave, the bow comes out and it's easy to pivot the boat in whichever direction you want to go. When you're leaving the eddy, generate enough speed that you can just worry about controlling the angle of the canoe as you get onto the wave. Once you're established on the wave, you can change the angle of your boat to create drag or to be more streamlined and shift your weight forward or back. Forward makes the bow drop down and ride down the face of the wave. Leaning back and or angling your boat creates drag and makes your boat ride up the wave. This leads right into the next skill, which is carving. Now we're talking some fun. First of all, you have to realize the boat has to tilt to the outside of the corner in order to carve back onto the wave. So I'm tilting to my onside. The boat starts going the other way. I tilt to my offside. Check out Andrew's hand. Notice that it's not locked on the gunnel. If you rest your hand on the gunnel, it'll prevent you from changing the tilt of the boat. So now, with a good J lean, you can tilt the boat left or right and use the shape of the hull to actually do the carving for you. The question always comes up, do you tilt to keep your boat upright when it's going across the wave? Not really. Check out the gunnel line on Andrew's boat. If you put a level from side to side, you see that his canoe is horizontal. It's the wave that is tilted underneath him. So relative to the water, the canoe is tilted. All right. Now let's watch Andrew put it all together for a really good front surf. Nice green wave with a foam pop. Okay, so Andrew's not coming off that anytime soon. Thanks for watching. See you on the next Paddle Pointer video where we're going to look at back surfing. A garbage bag with armholes cut in it might work, but if you're going to get serious about paddling, get a Kokatat dry suit. It took a while to get used to the great food and comfortable accommodations at MKC, but I'm a professional. I managed it. The boat we're using in the video is a Zephyr. Yeah, it's light and it is great to surf. Hope you enjoyed this paddle pointer. And your last tip, if your front surf isn't working, do what we do. Take a break and think about it.